Hey there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. If you're new make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave and if you're a returning subscriber make sure you hit the little bell down below for notifications on when I upload new videos. If you are returning you'll know this is kind of a different setup for me I'm trying something a little different I feel like the sun's a little better in this location also you can see my boyfriend's super impressive rock collection. But that's not the point of this video. I just feel like some of you might appreciate it. So I'm just going to acknowledge it before the comments roll in. I have a haul today with a company that I have never hauled from before. They are called Juna Rose, which I do know Juna Rose can be found on certain websites, but I think I've seen some on like Simply Be and stuff like that. But I decided to try out Juna Rose more specifically. I actually met with some people from Juna Rose when I was at New York Fashion Week last year. And I've been trying to make this happen for a while because I was super intrigued by the clothing when I saw it And all the clothing that I've come across is like super cute 100% my aesthetic pastel cutesy It's just everything that I want in my wardrobe So I teamed up with them for this video They sent along some pieces for me to try before I get into the video though I really quickly want to mention the fact that I have been waiting to do this haul for at least two months now because the package arrived shortly after I left Boston, so I wasn't able to get to them. I do know a decent amount of these pieces are still on the website, so I'm gonna try to focus mostly on fit here. I'm gonna link to as many pieces are still available in the description below, but I would highly suggest from what I saw just glancing on the website before I started recording to check out the collection anyway. I'm not getting any commission or anything for this. I just really, really love everything Juna Rose has. It's, again, as I mentioned, 100% my aesthetic. I'm gonna get into the haul though because I'm sure you guys are super eager to see. I'm super eager to show you. So grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get started. All right, in usual fashion, I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing, and it is this ultra cute, blue plaid dress, gingham plaid. I don't really know what you want to call it. I feel like gingham is more of a summer term. Plaid is more of a fall term. And this is definitely summer. I have been super into pastel blue lately. I am kind of sad I got into it super late into the season because it is such a good summer color. And I feel like it looks really good on me and like a lot of other people too. And Juna Rose was actually the first people to kind of introduce me me to the amazingness that is like soft blue pastel blue it was the first time I had really seen like a company use that color so heavily I love pastel pink but I feel like pastel pink has been used and used and used so it's nice to see them introduce a color that I maybe might have overlooked otherwise. It's more of like a boxy cut as well, which is not necessarily something that I typically go for, especially in the arms. I feel like I'm definitely gonna fiddle with the arm length and maybe just like roll it up a little bit, but it's super, super cute. So I'm wearing this in a US 18, and I wanna mention this before you buy anything from Juna Rose. I highly, 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 highly suggest and recommend checking out the size chart. Even for me, it was a little confusing to figure out what size is my size because Juno Rose is based in Denmark. So the so the clothing options and the clothing sizes are entirely different from like UK sizes, US sizes, and actually when I first got a shipment of clothes, unfortunately there was like some miscommunication and a bunch of them showed up in like a US size uh, 0X and I haven't been a 0X <laughs> for as long as I can remember. So I was really like nervous that I wasn't gonna get the pieces that I really, really had my eyes on. And and this one, thankfully, was available in a US 18, and it's a perfect fit for me. In terms of the fabric, it's super, super lightweight. It's basically just your basic cotton, and it's also a good length, too. Like, I feel like this is the kind of dress that I would throw on to run some errands. Um, today, I'm gonna go to Target later with my boyfriend, and I kind of want to take some cute photos, too, and I feel like it's so easy to make this, like, a super cute look as well, and it just kind of screams picnic to me. It doesn't have have any stretch by the way so if you are bigger busted too that's something to be mindful of. I'm also fairly certain that there's no like zip or anything so it just kind of like goes over the head. I found 
this was like a pretty generous size 18 because I kind of gravitate more towards size 20s these days. Okay, so next up is again another beautiful soft blue color and it's this absolutely gorgeous maxi like floral print all over it and then it has this keyhole neckline and it sits pretty high. So I had been eyeing this on the website but just didn't really know how I'd like it in person and after trying it on I really felt like this is a good dress to wear for like summer weddings. So it's definitely fancy enough and I think it's more on the fancy side than it is casual. I feel like this would be great for like a wedding um, in like a beachy area or something like that. It's super fancy but also like really breezy. It definitely is a little bit heavier and will be a little bit hotter. If you have like a wedding that you're going to this is definitely like a great summer wedding dress. So I have this in a size US 18. I think the fit's fine. I kind of wish I got it in a size 20 just because I think this dress um, is supposed to be more of like a flowy loose fit and even though it's by no means tight around my belly it does kind of do that whole um, showing the outline of the belly button thing and I don't love that. And then there is also lining by the way so again this really boils down to how you like things to fit. If you kind of want this to be a little loose and a little flowy I would suggest sizing up. I'm also hugely fond of these sleeves actually. They're one of the reasons why I kind of consider this to be a little bit more of like a fancy wedding dress. I'm kind of sad that I don't have a wedding to go to this summer because I think it would actually be super cute. Maybe I can go to like a resort somewhere even though that's not going to happen and put like a big sun hat on and that would be a look too. All right, so I wanted to mention these pink jeans before I showed you any of the other tops that I paired with it. I paired this with all of the tops that I'm gonna show you, and I am so <laughs> excited to finally own a pair of pink jeans. I feel like every time I've tried to get a pair of pink jeans, something happens, like it doesn't fit me the way I want. It's not the look that I was hoping for, or it's just like too snug, or the, or the shade of pink is like, two skin tones so it just kind of looks like I'm not wearing anything on my bottoms and these are the literal perfect pair of pink jeans. I got these in a size US 22 because I could tell that they're low waisted and if something's low waisted that means it's going to go around the largest part of my body and if we're measuring me at the largest part of my body I'm usually closer to a 22. So around my hips I think it's good. It's nice and comfortable. It's by no means snug, it's not super loose, but then around my legs it's a bit too baggy and definitely a bit too baggy around my calves. You can see that I played with the length of it and I much much prefer these cuffed. I just think it looks a lot nicer. So I feel like if I wanted it to fit me more snug on the leg like I'm used to, a 20 would probably be more appropriate. Like if these came high-waisted, a 20 would be way more suited, but it's low-waisted. So I'd rather have more comfort that way. Paired with the right top, this actually does look pretty alright. I like the look of it kind of sitting around my hips and then tying up a top and showing like a little bit of stomach. The jeans themselves are super amazing quality. I have had some good jeans, I've had some bad jeans, I've had some jeans that literally just didn't last longer than one wear, but these ones I can genuinely tell that they are going to last for a long time. Also pockets, real real pockets. There is a patch here with the Juno Rose logos. All in all, I really, really like these jeans. They are a super good fit. Okay, so now on to the pile of tops. First one is real cute, basic white t-shirt, but then the shoulders here have this really cute ruffle, and I love that. I think it's so beautiful, delicate, and femme. I love tops like this because you can literally pair it with just about anything. So this is actually the US 0X and to be entirely honest with you just because this is like a basic cotton fabric I kind of like the fit of it. I'm happy with the fit of it. I kind of prefer how it looks to be entirely honest so I decided to stay with this one. It's a great fit for me. It's still loose enough and baggy enough to tie it up at the front too as you are probably seeing. So this was a hit for me. It's probably better that I receive this in the smaller size mistakenly. And just to kind of give you an example, the tag here says this is a US 0X UK 1820 and an EU which is probably European 4446. So again, make sure you're looking at that size chart because you don't want to end up with a size that's totally not yours. As I mentioned, this is a really basic cotton fabric, 
very breezy. I really, really like this top. It's all, It also comes in green, and I just felt like the white would probably get a little bit more wear out of me because you can literally pair it with anything. I feel like I have three white tops that I kind of like rotate with different skirts, and it kind of gets like a little boring, so I'm glad to have another one to add into the mix. Okay, so next up is, to be honest, probably my personal favorite in this entire haul. It's this real cute cotton t-shirt that says be yourself with a bee embroidery. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love bees. I've actually quite taken to them as an adult. I, th I think they're amazing creatures. We need to save the bees. I will take any opportunity to wear my love for bees openly and proudly. And so I was very, very excited to see this t-shirt and it is so freaking adorable. This is another one that I accidentally got in a Zero X, but again, I feel like when it's like a basic white t-shirt like this, I prefer the Zero X fit. I really, really like how it looks. You can see that it's still big enough for me to tie in a knot, and it's just a really good fit for me. So if you're considering it for yourself, if you kind of feel like you like your fit the same way that I like my fit, um, I would definitely suggest sizing down. I'm also really quite fond of the sleeve length. That's like a thing that I've realized um, about clothing as I wear more and more of it. I'm really particular about where my sleeve hits. I prefer a shorter sleeve. Really, really worked out in my favorite that this came in a smaller size because it is perfect for me. Love the scoop neck, love it on. I'm very, very happy to have more bee-related things in my wardrobe. Okay, so next up is this pastel yellow dress slash tunic. I'm still not entirely sure how most people would wear this. This is from the original batch of things that showed up in a smaller size, and this is, again, a size 0X, which is a UK 1820, which is a Euro 4446, or medium on the website. I felt like this was like baggy enough that it still looked okay, but then revisiting it today and wearing it again today, I kind of feel like I would prefer it in my size because it's like a little too snug to look like a dress. And actually, snug's not necessarily the word. I just feel like the cut of it um, is not flowy enough. Like if I were to have this one in like my actual size, it probably would have hit me a little better, but the top too fits really well. So I'm kind of on the fence. Overall, the dress is adorable. I really like it. I mean, look at all these pastels. I don't even know what to do with myself. The embroidery here is just really, really cute. It's very unique to anything I own, and I feel like I mean, I feel like worst case scenario, this is a really good dress to throw on when you're doing errands or even like at home. But I was just thinking this the other day, I don't have enough clothes that I would consider like good enough to be at home where you don't want to like be in your PJs all day. You want to be in something you feel is like presentable. It's got like, you know, stretch to it. Okay, so now on to the last shirt. It's super cute. It's got this real pretty flower embroidery and then it's got an umpire waist. The shoulders also have this real cute detail as well. I love it. I love it so much. It's just so different. A lot of my tops I kind of get with the expectation to, you know, tuck in and stuff and this is definitely not something that I could tuck in. I kind of originally thought I would pair these with the jeans, but because the jeans are like super loose, I kind of feel like I would want something underneath here that was a little tighter to kind of balance out the fact that this is such like a loose and flowy top. So this one is in a size US 18. I really, really like the fit of it. The only thing is this seam here keeps coming up like a little bit over my bust. So there's some fidgeting that goes on, but it's not to the point that I feel like a size up would be more appropriate because it's like super loose and super flowy everywhere else. Very, very interested to play around with this. I actually sort of feel like maybe a pair of jeans or shorts under this will look really cute. And I couldn't complete this haul without showing you the fact that Juno Rose also does swimwear. I picked up this bikini and the bikini top is in a US 20 and I will say that I feel like a US 18 would have been more appropriate because the cups themselves are a little bit too large for me. It was kind of hard to get that support that I wanted and when it comes to anything that's halter-like, I don't want to have to make the halter portion too tight because it's just going to give me a headache. And then also when I was like tying up the back, I was literally like right at the end. So a US size 20 is pretty generous, especially if you are bigger busted. And then the bottoms are also in a US size 20 and definitely the right fit for me. I really, really like how these went on. They are super well made. Like these are a solid 
pair of bottoms as well as the top. They both like really, really impressed me with the quality. I wasn't expecting poor quality, but like I was even more impressed with what I got. And also it's a little bit scary to get swimwear from a new place because you really never know how they're gonna fit. I feel like it's exactly what I want in the bikini. I just kind of wish that the top was a size 18 instead of 20. All right, you guys, that is everything for the haul portion of this video. I really, really wanna know what you guys think because this is a totally brand new clothing store that I'm hauling from. Can't wait to wear these pieces and style them in outfits, especially those pink jeans. I really feel like they're growing on me a little bit more. Again, I want to thank Gina Rose for sending along these pieces and letting me try them out for you guys. I would really love to know if you guys would like to see more Gina Rose in the future because this was a lot of fun and I really, really like everything. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. So don't forget you can find new videos for me every Wednesday and every Sunday and new blog posts every Tuesday and every Friday. And I'll see you next time. Bye.